Hello, in this video I want to show you how I made trees for my video game. So I'm making a horror game that's taking place in the forest, so obviously I need trees. Previously I was talking how I don't really like these trees made with the sapling add-on in Blender, and you might say, they looking good, what's wrong with them? And the, the answer is that, in my opinion, if you look from the wrong angle, they look kind of weird. For example, in this one, if you zoom in, the branches kind of look like an octopus, right? But now thinking about this, it might be just because I don't know how to use this add-on, honestly. But it's too late, I've already committed to making my own, so I don't really care. And the other thing I don't really like about these trees is that they make made my game run barely at 60 fps, because they have so many triangles. So the only solution I find for this problem is, I guess, to make my own tree generating thing. And I've tried making a tree generating algorithm some time ago, but it hasn't been too successful. Uh, by that I mean I just quit a project shortly after starting it. At this time it was different, because this time I had much more confidence in myself. Have confidence! only confidence though because planning and making any backups was apparently too difficult for me and then after deleting all of the code i wrote previously i was surprised why nothing works so yeah after rewriting the whole engine and fixing all the code i deleted i started doing research on this trees. So I started looking for information online to know how trees grow and stuff because I'm aiming to make it as realistic as possible, if it is possible in my case, but unfortunately I didn't find anything very useful. I mean I found some scientific paper on like branch distribution or something like that, but it was much too long for me. I mean I am a zoomer so I can barely read like 20 words without a subway surfer in the background. I've also found some cool drawings of this Da Vinci guy but it still wasn't enough. I had to do something I don't usually do. I had to go outside. Yeah, crazy, I know. So I rode my bike to the nearby forest to take some pictures, so I can study them in the comfort of my little apartment. But unfortunately, when I arrived there, I encountered something that pissed me off a little bit. In the middle of the forest, they started making a huge wide road. So from now on, when I want to go biking to the forest, I will have to be careful to not be killed by a fucking car. And obviously, if someone wants to go to the forest, they most certainly go there to listen to the cars in the background, right? And it's all just to connect some village to the city even though it's already connected to the city via a different road. So basically they want to cut so many trees down and destroy the forest so like 5 people can save maybe a minute getting to the city. So that situation made me a bit displeased but I completed the mission successfully and I have acquired photos of the outside. After very in-depth analyzing of these photos I came up with the very complicated algorithm. Let me show you. <coughs> so how it works is that we start with one branch and then it can this can branch into two other branches and then these two other branches can branch into two other branches and then they can also branch to other branches so uh yeah, that, that's just how it works. It's that simple. So yeah, I know, I'm a genius. So the trees generated with this algorithm looks somewhat like this. And it's pretty fractal-like, I would say. But unfortunately, it doesn't really look like a tree. I mean, it's kind of, but you know. And I believe it's mostly because it's uh, kind of a 2D. So I had to make branches to spread in every possible direction to add the third dimension. And it was much better. And then I have an idea to test how many branches it can handle. So I added like 500 or something like that. Fortunately, this time I've recorded this this thing. So yeah, that's the footage. Okay, it's it's working. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think it should uh, look like this. Uh, every time that she grows another branch everything below gets uh, thicker so we got a pretty uh, pretty thick uh, little fella that's a lot of branches but i'm glad it didn't crash or anything like that i've noticed that how tree looks depends mostly on the angles that branches are allowed to branch out so for example when the angle is too small the branches will look very sad and when it's too big it will look like this so it's all about finding the good angle generating method but that's just a trial and error to see what looks good and what, what doesn't. Also, while experimenting, I've recorded a few interesting shapes that came up. 
For example, this one. I don't remember what caused it, but it looks like a Horus tree from Minecraft or something like that. Also, I have accidentally created this abomination that looks like a Slenderman for some reason. I think it's because I removed all the side branches, so it's only like a skeleton of a tree. But after some time, it started looking close enough to a real tree, so it was time to add some leaves. My first idea was to turn all the tips of the branches into leaf meshes to and add some small branches everywhere, but it didn't look good, as you can see. So finally I decided to do the same thing that the guy in the YouTube tutorial I showed in the previous video did, except in the code and not in Blender. So I made a rectangular mesh with the transparent branch texture on it and put it everywhere around the branches. And it looked much better. So are my trees better than the sapling trees? Probably not. Yeah, I guess that's all. Thank you, bye. Subscribe, bye.